Uh, he won't be able to really knock me out. There's the hailstorm. We eat that up. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, usually I would have recorded a boost to the top session, but I didn't really feel like doing that today. I wanted to team test something I've been working on on Twitter, if you follow me, which you really should. I mentioned that Altaria is viable in the format, and a lot of you guys were like, oh, weakness policy, and I'm always like, no. No, it has a couple of cool things it can do. It helps out with beating uh, Venusaur in the fact that it absolutely walls Venusaur uh, and can click max airstream versus it while denying it any kind of weather boost. Um, it also is very cool for a Perish Song win condition. So yeah, I'm going to be testing this team. Uh, I'm, I'm still a little bit sick today, so sorry if I sound a bit off or a little bit tired or just, just a little bit more, you know, tired-ish. <laughs> I guess that's the word. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys want to do me a favor, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it at any point in time. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And if you want to do me a favor, also check out yesterday's Boost at the Top session. YouTube went down while that was, you know, just going live for the first couple of hours. So uh, yeah, that didn't get too many views. So if you guys want to help me out that way, that would be seriously appreciated. So this team is a work in progress. I'm not certain if we're going to win a lot today, but I want to at least try it out and upload it to YouTube to get some opinions on it, if you think there are better ways to run it. I'm running a Misty Seed Altaria with Cloud9, Parish Song, Roost, Cotton Guard, and Pluck to steal berries from opposing Incineroar or type of Finnies. Um, <clears throat> Cloud9 is very useful because I'm able to stop weather conditions like hail from hurting my team, sand, rush, uh, chlorophyll, anything like that is just out the window. Uh, it's supported by screens, Regieleki, uh, Volt Switch, Electroweb, Light Screen Reflect, a very bulky uh, Kartana Standard Assault Vest set, a Calm Mind Tapu Fini with Citrus Berry and the Standard set, Figgy Berry and Cinderor, and also a Weakness Policy Glacier with no Trick Room on the team. Basically, this is sort of an anti-Trick Room Pokemon. I, I want to use it to discourage Trick Room, as well as there are going to be some situations where I want to bring it because it is the slowest Pokemon in the field. And if you don't know, if you're the slowest Pokemon in the field when Perish Song runs out, uh, you get KO'd last, making you the winner of the match. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. And I'll try to cut out any time I spend where I'm just like not talking and waiting for my opponent to click a move, so yeah. Alright, so this is actually a not a terrible matchup for the team. Altaria does a much better at walling physical attackers with Cotton Guard. Uh, and this team looks to have only two really threatening special attackers. I'm not too concerned with Tornadus, we can wall that naturally with Altaria. Um... I want to start off with screens for certain. Uh, we'll go ahead and lead off Regieleki with Incineroar for that purpose. It makes it very easy to get my screens off. Uh, in the back, I want to bring the Altaria. And I think my last Pokemon here is going to be the Tapu Fini, which is a little bit scary. I almost want to go Glacier or Kartana instead because they have a better matchup versus, um, you know, their Kartana. But I don't know, maybe, maybe Glacier is the play behind screens because it will be able to take hits. So we'll Tapu Fini though. Hmm. I'll go Tapu Fini. It feels just the safest. Okay, like I said, this is pretty free screens. I'll be able to go for the Reflect here, as well as the Fake Out into the Tornadus. He's gonna Dynamax his Metagross, which is fine by me. I'll be able to I'll be able to live pretty much every single hit. Um, and I might be able to even start Cotton Guarding in front of it, which is really funny. And behind Reflect, I'll just you know take everything. And this Regieleki is EV to take a. Uh, Jolly Earthquake from Max Attack Landorus after my light screen or after my reflect goes up. So I'm not certain if I take the Max Quake from Metagross, but it's significantly weaker, so that's probably something I can assume. Okay, I fake out the Incineroar, reflect goes up, Max Quake does a hefty amount of damage to be honest. Um, he can fake me out here. I kind of want to just deny that he doesn't have he doesn't have a way to. Um, was it called? Deny me screens beyond faking out the Regieleki. And I kind of want to go into Altaria into that slot for that reason. And I'll go Tapu Fini here to preserve the Incineroar. And I can actually go ahead and get my Cotton Guard up, and that'll make it very difficult for him to knock me out. There's the Fake Out. Max Quake into Fini is perfectly fine. I'll go ahead and set up a Cotton Guard here, as well as a Calm Mind. Or maybe I even just Dynamax. I think I just Cotton Guard and Calm Mind here. He should probably target down the Finny. And I think it's in his best interest to Steel Spike, or maybe even just Quake. 
The Calm Mind feels safer. Uh, for one, I'm faster than it. Uh, he won't be able to really knock me out. There's the Hailstorm. We eat that up. I was slightly concerned about that. I was slightly concerned about that play, but you want to know something? You want to know something? Now we roost. And because we're faster than him, uh, we actually take less this time around. And I'll go ahead and I'll Dynamax here and actually... Uh, we'll take care of that Incineroar first. I don't want to deal with that anymore. Roost off. He can go for another Ice Punch, but it's doing even less now. There's the Snarl. I don't mind getting walled here, really. Because um, I can win with Altaria pretty much. I think he only has physical attackers. Uh, I almost want to take his Berry from him. But that's a little risky. Because he's just going to go for an Ice Punch again. I could try this. I'm going to pluck here. I might have to end my Dynamax early. I probably should have just Calm Minded again. That was a really bad play on my part. I want to take his Berry from him and then knock him out. I'll go Incineroar here since he's definitely just going to Ice Punch. That allows me a Fake Out in the next turn. Take his Berry, recover. Snarl. That's fine. Um, I think I can pretty safely Flare Blitz into the Metagross now. So we'll Roost up. Go for the Flare Blitz, outspeed it with Regieleki on the next turn and probably knock it out. Really the aim here is to get it so I have a, a lead on him. And once Metagross is down, he really doesn't have a way of knocking out Altaria. That's the funny part. <laughs> That's the really funny part here. Because look what his options are. If he didn't bring the Finny, which I might even just wall naturally. Yep. Live that. Flare Blitz puts him in range of, I think, Regieleki. I think he's in range. He can Parting Shot into me, that's fine. Um, I'll still live this hit. Let me think, do I live the hit? Maybe, but he's kind of forced to attack regardless. Let me think, how much did he do? He has to go for the Electro Web, I think. So... How much did Ice Punch do? Ice Punch did 35%, so I still live the hit, but I'm not certain if I live if I live it after all this, so I'm going to go ahead and go for another Roost. I'm going to try to Flare Blitz him. He doubles into me. Oh, that's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate, because I would have been able to Roost first. Yeah, if he didn't paralyze me, I would have been able to Roost before he attacked me, and I would have lived the hit. That That's a bit annoying. I, I can't lie, that's, that's actually really annoying. Alright. Uh, he should just go for, like, a... Hmm. I think I double out into my Finny here, expecting a fake out into the Aleki. And I can parting shot his Aleki. Because he shouldn't double into my Finny. Dang, do I just lose now? Let me muddy water and get a light screen off. Let's see if he's max speed Aleki. Yeah, that, that paralysis actually mattered quite a bit. Cause how much did he do? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Paralysis. Where's the turn you went for that? Oh, it's quite a ways down. <laughs> 30%. Yeah, I could have walled that actually pretty easily. So get my light screen off. Muddy water. I missed the tornadoes, which is a bit annoying. And I think I just lose here, so I'll go ahead and I'll forfeit. Do I lose? Because he's going to... Yeah, I end up losing here. I'll just forfeit. Because he could always just, you know, bring it in Incineroar and fake out. Uh, I think I had that match, had that not happened, actually. So that's a bit, like I said, a bit annoying. Um, physical attacker. Physical attacker. Physical attacker. Special attacker. Thanks. All right. Um... This actually doesn't look like a bad Altaria match. In fact, I can take the uh, I can take this thing's berry before it's able to really set up, so I might even lead off. Yeah, I might even lead off with that along with a very threatening attacker on the lead. Um, or maybe the screens are just better. Yeah, I think so. I'll bring Tapu Fini as well. Or no, Tapu Fini is an awful player. So we'll go Altaria, Aleki, Incineroar. I think my last Pokemon has to be Glacier. I'm a bit concerned about bringing Kartana, because I could just get Heat Waved or Flare Blitz, so Glacier just seems a little bit safer. Okay, uh, I should be able to wall this. We'll go ahead and we'll Cotton Guard up. 
and also Volt Switch on the Kartana, expecting him to just light screen. Yep. Volt Switch on the cart. Uh, he's probably going to go for a Leaf Blade. I'll get in my Incineroar to Intimidate. Critical hit. Not too terrible, though. And he should just go for... And there's no reason not to Cotton Guard, cotton guard again, I mean. Um, he should just go for the Sacred Sword. So I'm going to get in my Aleki here to live that. Oh, no, that's fine. Cotton Guard up. Spirit Break does nothing. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and pluck away that Incineroar's Berry. As I think I just get in... No, I want to get rid of that Incineroar first. I'll try to Volt Switch. Or I can even just get a Light Screen off. Or Reflect first. It depends who he fakes out. Regardless of this, I think I'm fine just to do that. Shout out to Alteria taking a little under 10% from that. Give me your Berry. Nice. Okay, more crits. More crits. Thank you, game. Yum, 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 more crits. Um, I, I can still win. It's just not looking great, you know? Wow, okay. Because uh, I, I was definitely going to live that. If I can take an Earthquake, I can take a freaking Flare Blitz from Incineroar. I suppose I just try to get the KO here. With the Quake, he's probably, yeah, he's just going to switch out. Spirit Break does nothing. Alright, that's in range of getting KO'd now. Uh, I don't want to bring in Incineroar. Because I can just KO this Kartana. And we'll Knuckle here for the knockout. He's probably just going to give me my policy. There's a Snorlax, we'll pluck him. Pluck. And uh, we'll Knuckle one more time because it's free. And Snorlax just gets absolutely destroyed by this thing by uh, Altaria. I can just pluck him to death because he doesn't have any recovery past the pluck. Actually, how many plucks do I have? 29? Yeah, that should be enough. Max Knuckle. I might even just switch out the Glacier for my Incineroar because I can't win with Parish. No, I can win with Parish even if, you know, this thing goes down. Or even if um he's slower than me. I just have to keep something, I mean. So if this thing doesn't go down, I can win. Right, that's fine. He's not doing any damage. Pluck. <laughs> we uh, max knuckle here. Get that KO. And now we're actually in a pretty good position to win. Glacier behind screens. Um, we can just pluck his Snorlax. We can close combat this Incineroar. Or actually, I think he's in a range where high horsepower will do it. So I'll try to pluck you. Altaria doesn't get beaten by Snorlax. Um... Yeah, we'll high horsepower the Incineroar. Alright, that does KO, which means we can win by clicking Parish Song here and switching out Glacier for our Incineroar and then playing defensively. Or even just protecting. So I'll Parish Song here and protect. And we just have to play defensively for a bit and we can win. This is a very scary endgame, since there's a plus four Snorlax in the field. We do have three turns of Reflect though, so it's not terrible. This is Max Steel Spike, he gives me my weakness policy. He's likely just going to Steel Spike again. So, um... What I can do here is just... He already ate the berry. Get an Incineroar and hopefully another Steel Spike. And then I have to use my Protects really, really smart. Thanks. Spirit Break, no crit. Steel Spikes again, we live that. He perishes in two turns. What I'll do here is switch in my Glacier. And I can probably force this. How do I how do I play this out? Because he has to he has to knock out the Snorlax, right? 
I could stay in and fake out and then just protect the final turn of Glacier and win. Yeah, that's how I win. So I'll just pluck Snorlax, fake out Grimmsnarl, and I can protect on the next turn. There's no reason to switch. As he G-Max replenishes, and Glacier just has to survive this turn, so we win. Roost, protect, GG. Well played. We got the win with the uh, Parish Song Altaria. Granted, this isn't a standard team. Uh, however, I, I think we could have won that last game versus a relatively standard team if we didn't get that really unfortunate paralysis. Are you Moxie boosted? Yeah. I got recognized too. This is already a great video. Alright, uh, I'm assuming he, he wants to say something else there. But we'll find the next match. Um, and hopefully we can get another win. Hopefully we can get another win. I want to record at least a half hour of footage with Altaria. And I was wondering to do the Altaria. Hey. <laughs> uh, good luck on games today. Alright. Uh, so we're facing Screens Moltres. Our screens go up a bit faster than theirs. They do have fake out pressure though, however, uh, my Incineroar and lead doesn't seem too bad. We have to play really carefully around Moltres, because Moltres is one of the things that actually this thing doesn't like facing. Or actually, you know what? I could probably lead off Glacier and Regieleki relatively safely. In the back, I'll bring the Altaria for the Parish Song. And I think my last Pokemon needs to be... I think it needs to be Incineroar. I kind of want to go Kartana though, but we should be fine. Yeah, that's why I let off this way. Uh, they should never stay in with this uh, Landris. So I'll try to get a free KO on the Raichu, as they likely just try to fake out my Aleki. And we'll get a Reflect up. Wow, that was a big brain play. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do now. I, I, I don't know what to do. I could have KO'd that. What was that play? Excuse me. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I win anymore. I can try. Yeah, I don't know why you would ever stand with Landers there, cause. I mean, I guess I can uh, max Hailstorm here into the Landers. Rotom's just gonna Dynamax though is the issue, and I can try to fake out. Okay, yeah, now you switch out. That's that's so weird. Um, Knuckle the Kartana, hoping for a Dynamax, parting shot on the Rotom, or not hoping for a Dynamax, hoping for a weakness policy as well. Yeah, I'm so confused why they stayed in with Landers there. Sacred Sword won't knock me out. Let's see if they nasty plot. Yep. When I'm Dynamaxed, I can live that at minus one, getting the Altaria, knock out the Kartana, we're at plus one attack with this thing, uh, I, I have to play super defensively, get a KO and click Parish Song, that's the only way I win, and Rotom can Nasty Plot all at once pretty much in my face. There's the Raichu. I think he's just going to Volt Switch out for Landris, so I'll actually just go ahead and Hailstorm here. And I'll pluck the Rotom's Berry away, since I can't I can't go for my thing yet. As he ends up faking out. Behind screens, we love that. Sash, and of course Altaria just saved the opponent, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's game. Okay. I mean we're one. We're one for two on the Altaria so far. All right, this is this is a hail team. I should really get on my main account. I haven't even laddered up on my main account. This is an alt. I don't play too much showdown right now. I'm I'm really into the end game stuff. Wait, Moxie, yes. All right. Um, let me think. We actually absolutely destroy him with. Uh, with Altaria if we can play it uh, effectively because we have to make sure we don't get knocked out by his hail I might even just go screens Altaria on the lead and bring in the Kartana in the back with uh, Tapu Fini because he doesn't have any speed boosts now 
We'll do that. Is that something about impersonator side? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mentioned that like no one ever pretends to be me. So like there are people who will like see me on the line and they're like, "Ah, oh, no, that's not you." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's it's me. No one pretends to be me. That's normal." <laughs> All right. Rotom Heat and Didi. They're likely just gonna try to nasty plot up. I could pluck here. Get off a light screen. Remove their berry. Oh, even. I, I kinda wanna perish. Just to make them wanna switch out. Go Finny. Get a little special defense boost. We perish on them. And now they're sort of forced to uh, decide what what we get, really. I can protect here and eat the hit okay, I guess. Did I get my pluck off? Are they not? Oh, I didn't pluck. Did I? I did. Did I not get a berry? Yeah, uh, they're not running berry. Interesting. I'll just roost up here. Protect. They have rising voltage. Roost. I can get in my Aleki here. And roost again. And I don't think they would ever give me their Rotom here. It just doesn't make sense. I kind of want to Calm Mind. I'll Calm Mind, because if they do give me the Rotom, they're in trouble. Here's the Obama Snow. We can deny them their uh, speed boosts. Hmm. I could one-shot them with Moonblast here, but I am running 108 speed to make sure I outspeed these things, so we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, let me go ahead and go for this Max Starfall. No speed boost for you. Aurora Veil gets denied as well because of the because uh, the hail. There's the Indeedee female. I don't like Psychic Terrain on the field. So, I also don't like the Obama Snow there. I'm tempted just to pluck into it and go for a Max Starfall as well. Ooh, we got the crit. Glad I plucked. And I can click Perish and try to win with that. Perish up. Uh, we'll go for my Max Geyser here on the Rotom. Get the geyser. I think it's pretty clear. I mean, I could live this, right? I think I have to bank on them thinking that I don't give them the finny. Or even, the protect from the finny is actually probably my win con. I can try to make a double here. I'll just roost up and get in Kartana, because I can they're not gonna go for a fire move into Finny regardless. And the protect's gonna be clutch in the endgame. Oh, they crit me. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, I would have lived that. Dang, okay. 
They need to make a read here to win. I mean, I can calm mind this turn. <laughs> Hope that they try to read the protect. Uh, is that really the play? Do I just go for the double protect? Because if they read it, I, I lose. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, cool. I think they tried to do that. Hey, okay. Um, I should win because they have no way of knocking me out without, like, discharge. I always go for the double protector and I leaf blade into Indeedy to secure the KO and I win. Alright, well played. Nice. Alright. So, two wins, two losses. Let's go ahead and get one more. Hopefully we can win it on a... Uh, hopefully we can end the video on a positive. Positive record with Altaria. Ooh, okay. This looks like a good game to deny people some weather. What's funny is that I actually resist the Dark-type Urshifu's move anyways. The one that crits all the time. I also resist the water type, so it doesn't matter if they crit through my cotton guard. I'll go ahead and I'll lead off Altaria. I'll lead off Altaria as well as Regieleki. I'll bring Kartana as well. And I think my last Pokemon has to be the uh has to be the Tapu Fini. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and cotton guard up. Is that my play? Maybe I just because mm, I don't want to let the Porygon 2 do its thing here. I'll get in Kartana and Light Screen. Because I don't want him to go for an Ice Beam. And have me just get KO'd. If he goes freaking... Uh, <laughs> if he goes into the Torkoal here, I just lose anyways. So. Or maybe maybe today's the day I Dynamax my, uh, <laughs> Dynamax my guy. Alright, so unfortunately, I made the wrong call. Oh, no, we live. Thank you. That's all good. That's all good. Um, gonna get in my Altaria here. Bro, is it is it Dynamax Altaria time? I think it's Dynamax Altaria time. We aren't even gonna win with the Parish. I'm gonna... I don't think I outspeed this guy, but it doesn't matter. Because uh, we're denying the... We're denying the double speed is what really matters. Because now I outspeed it with both of my Pokemon. Uh, I can go ahead and try to Calm Mind up, but I also want to protect. Oh, he just burned me. That's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, the Burning Jealousy. Dang, okay. I need to, like, crit here. I mean, he is going for Eruption. What I could do is try to get in the Kartana here. I think my priority is knocking out the Torkoal, and then I can win with Kartana. So I'll Muddy Water and actually Airstream into Torkoal. Because we wall this Venusaur with uh, our, with our Ateria. And it's within range of getting KO'd by, um, by Aerial Ace, I think. I'm hoping we can KO. It, it's really about knocking out Torkoal. I should have identified that last turn. Alright, cool. We get some damage. I still have Roost, and we also drop their accuracy, which is fun. Hey, we got the KO. Bro, is Altaria about to go in? Is it really Altaria time? There's their Urshifu. I mean, my Pluck isn't KOing. But I think Sacred Sword into Pluck will KO. I don't resist Sucker Punch, but I think I can take it. This is really close. Because I can beat Porygon 1v1 if I get the Sacred Sword KO. Hey, we live. There's the Pluck. I get the crit with Pluck too. Sacred Sword? 
<sighs> ah, not in the cards today. Not in the cards. Let me try it one more time. I'm going to lose to this uh, close combat, unless they're choice banded. I've seen a lot of choice bander Shifu. Ah, there's the close combat. All right, so unfortunately, we end the video on a negative uh, two loss or three losses, two wins. But I think you see the concept there with Altaria. What could be? Uh, I can definitely refine the team, make it a bit better. It's it's kind of thrown together. I don't know how I feel about Glacier. Um, I originally had a uh, was a Gigantamax Gengar there to uh, help me deal with trapping things if I wanted to. But I figured Altaria is actually better just to sit on the field and wall things. But yeah. With that, I'm going to call guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support in the channel lately. Do me a favor. Check out the videos I show at the end cards if you want to keep watching the channel and support me because that does get me further into the algorithm. And check out yesterday's boost at the top, which didn't get much attention since YouTube went down. But yeah, have a nice night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.